Hey, Simon Grover here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Super Collider demo. This is my updated score for my piece Idyllic. This is my MIDI score, as you have seen before, but I added on to it. I tightened it up. I changed some sections around, really the, the intro section, and I'll explain why. But as I explain why, why don't we just go ahead and have a listen. So right off the bat, you hear kick and hi-hat, and that's it. And the reason why I wanted to do that is that this is my cleanest way so far with the technology, with the protocol, my cleanest way so far to introduce on violin the main melody. And the melody is pretty basic. It's quite nice. It does have harmony, but we won't hear that harmony in full until the bass enters and until the harmony section enters. And so for 64 counts, we're going about it this way. I might pluck or I might bow. It does depend on which is easier or more effective at this tempo. Now you can see or hear that we have entered bass and harmony, and that is entering instruments here. So thus begins the first section. Now this is my kick instrument from line 104, 105, all the way down to snare here, all the way down to 173. So it's pretty lengthy, but it's actually one of the shorter instruments. <laughs> expansion, this expansion part of the first section. A little bit more complexity in the kick. We have a beat, then half a beat, a sequence of half a beat, and then a rest, uh, a quarter of a beat rest. And so it, it feels a little off, but rhythmic and great, kind of kind of groovy. And then after this, second section in E minor and I think I will repeat the melody whether that's an octave higher with some variation but I'm not gonna go into complete improvisatory material probably not until mode mixture and and anything after that before the recapitulation at the end because I will have one in the seventh section see this laid out in the kick, entering instruments, first section, first section expanded, mode mixture, and we're getting into E minor, but we will have mode mixture with my B flat soon to come. But all of this, third section, fourth section, this has been lined up with all my instruments, my kick, my snare, my hi-hat, my ride, my bass, and my harmony my mode mixture and you can also see that this is done I believe twice I don't know we might go into the B minor modulation yes we did all right so this was done once now I know the fourth section with this B minor modulation with the major two chord. This will definitely be for improvising twice. You know, I think this is supposed to be a flat two chord. So I'm just gonna put a little B there. Uh, Cause that's the C major going between B minor and C major, but in B minor we've got F sharp and C sharp, so we're going between B and C, which has a bit more color. It's not as traditional a harmony, and that's okay because this is this is electronic music, a little bit peppy electronic music. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that that plane overhead. 
case you didn't hear it, it was there and I was a little distracted. All right, so we did that twice and I have in mind to do that an octave higher the second time around. And now we are in our first section of the fifth section, E minor. And I do believe there needs to be, oh, I was thinking there needs to be two instances of this, but the first time is 72 beats of rest. And then the kick will enter this expansion of E minor. So you see six and seventh and outro here and this is all lined up with the rest of my instruments and I wanted to make a note you know with you know in with kick for instance I have actually not kick I need to find the mini note so mini note is the same here but with my hi-hat you can see all this information you know this is commented out because it's 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 a hi-hat acting like it's having this time of rest that it's not entering until a little bit later and that's where my comment commenting out that that's the function of that um, but you can see all this information you know from from 233 all the way down to uh, 376 and why that is, is I put the information under the MIDI note key, all this information, and I put the same information under the Dur key. It might not be necessary, but I don't mind going overkill because I needed to be specific. I needed to be as specific as possible with this score, otherwise I would be completely lost. So we have just entered our B minor modulation again. We are starting on D. You know, the harmony has a, a presence of D even though it's, it's playing the chords. It also starts on D in the bass, as I can show you. But this is the second time around. And we've got the ride down here so I you know for the ride I, I say six section second run just so I'm I take note you know I have that note for me <laughs> and then I think I think bass looks the smoothest it looks very concise we've, we've got all our P seeks all our ducks in a row there seventh section where I will recapitulate the melody after all that improvising and the bass does pull out on the outro and we've got our harmony instruments here all in neat little PC rows and you can see here oh I'm sorry that was the bass still <laughs> that was the these are the rows these are the rows for the dir key. So the MIDI notes, I'll show you here. The MIDI notes, all these MIDI note values, and then all these dir key values. So that was the bass section, and then we have our harmony. And we have rest for, of course, the intro, and my section here, all the, the chords labeled here. And iterations here, you know, fourth section is done twice, third section is done once, you can see here. And then all the way down, we only have the, the recapitulation, the E minor section once, and the outro just one chord, that's it, to, to go for about, I think four to eight counts and then a nice decay with those instruments. And that's it. So I would say composing MIDI scores for 
a digital audio workstation, I would say, I have to be honest, is quite cumbersome, but it's worth it when you get it all lined up. Uh, not just so you can play in the background. You can play this, you know, with an instrument or a voice and, and play your favorite DAW instruments along with that, but also you can record. You can record each of these instruments on a track. I haven't found a, a way where you can do all instruments at once on, on their individual tracks. I can so far only record on the tracks. If I ever find that way, because I have been troubleshooting, <laughs> if I ever find that way, I will definitely let you know. But until then, recording one instrument on one track at a time is fine. That MIDI data is there to stay, and it's up to you to change the quantization and velocity values and all that, but that's that. So this is really my final draft for Idyllic before I move on to another MIDI score. So hopefully you like that. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you always for watching and listening. Always be on the lookout for some more sound experimentation every Thursday and some live commentary every Monday nights at 9.30 Eastern. And until I see you again, keep producing the art you love, and I will catch you later.